Hey everybody, I'm Carl Sheffield. I'm a product manager on the user success and evangelism team here at Squid. Um, today we're going to talk about UI only fields. So let's go start in Squid Central. Um, I'm going to start with a, a page that I built. Uh, it's pretty quick. We'll review it. I'm going to go to all pages here and then I am going to find the account list for UI only stuff page that I made. Let's um, preview that one real quick. I'll go ahead and launch the page, and we can see that it's a real simple page. I've got a table component. Um, it's using the Salesforce account object here, and uh, we've just got a few fields. We've got an annual revenue field, number of employees, and last modified date for each record. Um, let's go in and add a UI only field a field that will calculate the annual revenue per employee. Um, I'm going to click on the edit page button here, get into the composer. Um, so the place where I'm going to start is models and I'm going to go to the account list model. I clicked on it to expand it. Then I'm going to click on fields here and I'm going to click add UI only field. So when I add a UI only field, the properties uh, pane changes. I'm going to give this a nice, good field name, revenue per employee. And I'm going to just going to copy this and I'll use the same thing for the label. I'm going to set the display type to formula and then set my formula return type to currency. From there, I'm going to click the formula tab and I'll insert a field. The first field I want to find is um, annual revenue. I'm going to click on that radio button to add annual revenue into the formula pane here. Then I'm going to insert an operator. So I'm going to click this thing and then find divide. And finally, I'm going to insert that employee number field um, down here. Uh, I was just looking here. The employees is the friendly name for this. And then the, the uh, API name is number of employees. So that's going to be good. We're going to click that. That's our formula. Looks good. I'm going to click save. And what we want to do now is get that into the table so that it'll be surfaced on the page. So I'm going to click on the table to bring it into focus. I'm going to go to add fields and then model fields. And I'm going to, I'm going to go down to the bottom and find this. Uh, UI only fields often show up at the bottom of the, of the list to choose from. So here we are. We've got a column for revenue per employee. Now let's click save and preview. And now we've got revenue per employee. It does the math for us and it's looking good. Um, now let's shift focus to the last modified date field. Let's suppose that we want to just see the date only. Um, the last modified date field type is date time, but sometimes you want to um, change that format. So we're going to use a UI only field for that. So getting back to the page composer, I'm going to go back to the account list model that we have. I'm going to go to fields and then add another UI only field. Uh, for this one, I'm going to call it last modified date only. So um, again, this is going to be just fine for a label as well as we're exercising. Now, the display type again is going to be formula and we're going to choose a date formula here, or date return type here. Um, at this point, we jump into the formula tab and then insert the field that we want, which is the last modified date. Last modified date here is the date time. We're just going to add that to formula builder. And believe it or not, that's all we need to do for our formula. Um, the display type is going to do the heavy lifting for this one. So I'm going to click save here and then actually go back to the table and add that UI only field again and we'll just find it at the bottom, last modified date only. I'll select that and click apply. We'll see it's added to our table and I'll do a save again and then preview. And that's our last modified date only displayed just for the date. So we've got two UI only fields here that have been added and that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs>